Is algae good or bad for your aquarium? Before we get into that, there's just two stuff that I want to share with you that I saw happen in my tank this week. Firstly, there's the shrimp, and there's many of them that have eggs that they're carrying around that should hatch in the next few days. Secondly, my beautiful flounder brownie metallica is pushing a new leaf and it is looking awesome. Before we start, let's clear this up. I'm talking about algae from a biological, ecological viewpoint, meaning I'm not looking at the aesthetics whether algae looks good or bad in your tank, because that's up to everyone to decide for himself. In nature you will see that most of your algae occurs in winter, when the plants are growing slower and your algae has much more nutrients to grow off. The algae that grows in winter ensures that the nutrient levels within the water doesn't become toxic to the fish or the plants within the water. Thus having algae in winter is a good thing because that keeps the system all in a good balance. In nature you will find various kinds of algae, such as the stringy algae that's growing in a stream, or the green slime algae that's growing in a pond. There are many different types of algae, such as green spot algae that you see here on the leaves. There is also staghorn algae. On this piece of log, there's a lot of black beard algae. On the leaves over here, we've got black beard algae mixed with some staghorn algae. Here you can see, the algae starts as small green spots on the leaf, and then they grow into bigger green spots. It gets even worse, until it covers the leaf completely. The reason most people don't like algae is because you can't see what's going on in your tank if it grows over your glass and then you have problems to view your fish and admire your tank. Controlling the algae is easy on the glass. You just use a credit card or bank card to scrape it off and then your glass is clean and see-through like it should be. From an ecological viewpoint, algae is not always bad as it sucks up extra nutrients and it supplies many of your fish and of your invertebrates with food. Otters love their algae and this is why I keep this piece of green in my tank just for them to graze upon. If the algae gets too bad, you can add otters, shrimp, or snails to control the algae. If the algae starts to get too bad, you can control it using a liquid carbon, like Exile for example. Here you can see I used Exile on this piece of algae and it died and turned completely pink. But don't worry, if the algae turns pink, it means it just died. It's not harmful to your fish in any way. So there you have it. From biological and ecological viewpoint, algae is good for your tank. If you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button, share this video with a friend, and then I will see you next time.